I thought PowerPoints deserved a special treatment. So many of us have uh, PowerPoints that we've used in our classes before, and um, it's really powerful to be able to make those available. Obviously, if you look at the last video on documents, you can see how you can take the PowerPoints and you can uh, make them available as a document. Um, this might be useful if you're going to use them as guided notes or something where you want to be able to give the students PowerPoints that they want you want them to write on. It is possible to uh, to make a PowerPoint embedded, uh, which means it'll display, and you can even display it on the main page um, if that's the way you want to do it. Uh, the trick is to use Google because Google allows you to publish PowerPoints in um, a form that the website can read instead of that uh, the PowerPoint program needs to read. And let's talk about how to do that. There's a couple steps, but once you get the workflow down, um, it should be pretty easy to you. The first thing you're going to need, and probably more and more, the first thing you're going to need to teach uh, a lot of tricks is you're going to need a Google account, and you're going to go into your Google Drive. So um, when you go into your Google Drive, you're going to click uh, the Upload button, and you're going to upload a file. And this is where you want to pick the PowerPoint that you want to publish. Okay, so I'm going to upload this uh, PowerPoint on modifiers. Okay, it'll go ahead and upload. And then you'll see the modifiers file, but it's still a PowerPoints file. It can't publish directly PowerPoint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this. And what I'm going to go up here, I can open with, and I'm going to open it with Google Slides. Okay, so what it basically does is it converts the PowerPoint uh, to a Google Slide document. Um, uh, but what you'll see is that it kept almost everything um, that I had in uh, PowerPoint. Uh, maybe if I had used some, um, oh, some complicated transitions or whatever, those would be gone. But in general, it does a very good job of keeping uh, the PowerPoint, uh, uh, you know, pretty similar to how it was when it was PowerPoint. Okay, now that I've got it, I opened it as a, a, a PowerPoint slides or as a uh, Google Slides, you'll see that it actually just created a new document for me with the, uh, power, with the Google presentation um, document. So again, if I'm in um, the, the file, one of the options when I go up to file um, is I can uh, go to share. Okay, and you're familiar with all these, like who you can share it to and you can have the link uh, but you can actually publish this too. Uh, what the what the publishing will allow you to do is you've published to web. Um, it'll say you're about to publish. Uh, it'll say that it's going to make available the content to people who have the link, and you say yes. And then what it does is it gives you an embed frame uh, or an embed code. This is useful because now we can stick this right in a label. Okay, so I'm going to take this embed. Um, and I'm going to embed it. I can also uh, use this link and I can embed it as a URL in a pop-up. So uh, if you look at the video on URLs, now that I've got my uh, PowerPoint as a, a document link, um, I can um, uh, use that URL and just have it the appearance be embed. But let me show you how to do the embed code. Okay, so I'm going to change this uh, automatically advance presentation to the next slides. Okay, so um, this is kind of going to be like uh, when it turns it into a movie, uh, how much it changes. Um, and then I can take that embed code, I can copy it, and when I go back into my Moodle page, now that I have embed code, I'm going to add a label. So I'm going to go to the label, I'm going to hit add, and I'm going to take the label text and I'm going to hit HTML and then I'm just going to pop the embed code right in there. So I'm going to hit update and then save and return to course. So what we'll see is that it's taken just almost like a video. It's taken my um, slides. I can move through the slides by going next. Um, and the students can use my slideshow, uh, including with navigation to like the different slides. They can go to full screen. Um, so they can do a lot of really cool things 
or they can just play it and it will uh, use my automatic. This is where I set the settings for how, how fast it should uh, advance. Um, so they can play it uh, hands off or they can use the uh, clicking buttons. So it is a Google slide. And in the future, maybe you want to start directly in Google slide. But since Google slides does a, such a good job of running PowerPoints, um, those are the steps to putting it right on your page um, as an embedded uh, object. So it's basically running a little slide player here, um, which will allow your students to do it. So a couple steps, uh, but the workflow, once you get familiar with it, is pretty straightforward. And especially if you're using Google Docs for other parts of your website, uh, I think this is a great way uh, to take it and um, really put the content right where the students are going to be um, and keeping it in the flow of your class. Uh, uh, by the way, I can resize it. When I uh, published it, there was a size. Uh, but again, uh, just like with the pictures and the labels, if I click on update, and I know that um, this kind of uh, HTML seems scary, okay, but here's my width and height. So I can change those as long as I change them proportionally. Um, that will change the way that the width and the height uh, works on the page. So if I wanted to make it uh, bigger or smaller um, directly from Moodle, that's how I would do it. But I also could have done it um, in my embed code right here uh, from presentation size, small, medium, large, or custom, which allows me to take the height and the, and the width and change it. Okay, so uh, a nice tool to get your uh, PowerPoint slides right into your Moodle uh, pages.